What's happening, folks? We're doing a little golf course fishing today. Boy, it's hot out. This ain't no joke. This Florida heat is no joke. I didn't want to get out on the board today. It was a little too windy out there in the bay. So I decided let's go back to the roots. Let's go back to what we know the best and do a little golf course bass fishing. I know there's some fish on this golf course somewhere around here. So we're about to go see if we can stick some of them. Stay tuned. It's summer fishing, so we're going to be throwing some worms. I'm going to try some swim baits at first, and if that's not going to get any bites, I'm going to go ahead and put on the worm, do some slow fishing, get some bites, baby. Let's get it. So the golf course we're fishing has been closed down ever since this fungus came about. But look at this. I haven't seen this. They've just been letting it overgrow around here. I don't know if they're going to be shutting down for good. Or if it's just temporary, but I can tell they ain't really maintaining the place anymore. Now it is hot out, Jack, and that ain't no exaggeration. So these fish are gonna be moving slow. We're gonna have to do some slow fishing. They're not gonna wanna chase much stuff. So I'm thinking the worm is definitely gonna be the way to go today, but let's go ahead and throw around the swim bait a little bit before we just switch to the worm. Fish on. No way, dude. It was literally the last cast. I was like, all right, last cast with the swim bait. Dang, he's off. Come on. Gotta hit the hooks up right in that. Probably gotta tighten it down, drag a little bit more. I was like, all right, last cast with the swim bait, and then I'm moving on. Fish on. Oh. Fish is not on, folks. Went ahead and threw on the little Ned rig. Hopefully this can get the job done. They weren't really too interested in the worm either. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a different lake after I just throw this Ned rig right around here a little bit more. Uh-oh, fish on. I'm gonna flippy flopper. You're not getting away from me. We're yeeting you on land. Tiny dude. But that's sometimes what happens when you pitch around a Ned rig. You might not catch the biggest, but you're gonna catch a fish. Woo! That's the start of the day so far. <laughs> Adios, buddy. Well, that was quick with the Ned rig. Let's see if it can keep working its magic. Increase the size. We have to increase the size from that. I don't know if we can get much smaller than that, dude. Fish on. Dude, not the Ned rig. Ooh, he does a little bit better. I'm gonna try to keep it down. The damn Ned rig putting in work. Let's go. The Ned Rig, purple Ned Rig. I picked this color out just due to the fact that it looked like a little purple worm. I was like, dude, that's a good worm imitation right there. And sure enough, a nice little maybe half pounder, 0.7. Tiny little dude, but I said let's increase the size and he's definitely increasing the size. Go ahead and throw him back. Get on another one. Adios. Oh yeah, he's a flopper. He's a flippy flopper. Let's go. About time we stuck another dude on the Ned. Come here, boss. So that is three bass, one gator. I'd say this one might be the biggest one, or the last one. They're probably about the same size. 
small dudes. Go ahead and get him back and keep on keeping on. Woo, Billy. Well, both of these lakes have all this brush around, around them. So we're, we're limited on where we can really fish. I think there's an opening right up here. I'm gonna try to just take a couple casts out into before I move over to a different lake with not so much crap in the way. Well, there's literally nowhere to cast. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a lake that we go to. I'm on something. Dude, I got my micro rod. This dude felt like a giant. <laughs> See, that's probably... Biggest one of the day so far. Nah, not normally. What the hell are you fishing right now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure about using a crankbait in here because I didn't know how deep it was. <laughs> you kayak in here? Yeah, and that one too. That's hilarious. Where do you come in at? I live in the neighborhood over there, so I just come in at the... Oh, so you just, yeah, walk across the street. Yeah, I've never fished these lakes on this side, only on that side, because that's where I come in at. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and head home. It was nice meeting you, buddy. I'm probably going to be out here again sometime soon, so I'm sure I'll see you around. What's your name? Tanner. Hunter. Hunter? Nice to meet you, bro. Bass Fishing 941, TDE Fishing Channel on YouTube. I got you. folks back at the crib now that was pretty interesting i caught a little gator and i didn't get on video dude gopro wasn't rolling i got a perfect hook set on them i don't know if you guys like you don't know much about gators if you're not from florida but they have very hard mouths it's actually very hard to hook them and luckily i didn't hook him he was just biting down on lure so hard until i got him up once he finally opened his mouth lure came right out so i didn't have to lose one of my fingers trying to get it out of there but a Medicaid hunter out there on the course. I guess he's a local. He lives across the street. Pretty cool dude. He said that uh, he's caught some monsters out of that last lake we were fishing at. Some six, eight pounders probably. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some more some more uh, golf course fishing here soon in the future. Try to get on some, uh, some mini tarpon out on the golf course by the bay too. I think that would be a pretty cool video. This will be the end of the video. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button already. I'd appreciate it a lot. This is your boy TDE Fishing. Peace.